Over the past few years, my list of so-called friends on Facebook has been steadily increasing. I'm not too bothered when it comes to accepting friend requests, which has resulted in a fee that is now overflowing with information, articles, opinions, and shares, high and low. The common trait amongst most of the people in my feed are portraying themselves as those who fight for truth and freedom, and want to spread information to the rest of the world about what a dark place it actually is. I would like to begin by giving a big thank you to all these people within the self-proclaimed so-called awakened community out there. Because I have never been so updated on what is happening in mainstream media, like I am now. Never before have I had such a good grasp of what these channels are reporting on as I do today, and it's all thanks to you. Because isn't it a little funny, say, that post after post, share after share, is largely about what the mass media hypnotizes the sleeping flock of sheep with. Everyone shares the same things over and over again, and if it's not flu, tests or shots, it's about bombing stone tablets blasted microchip implants or weather reports. Lately I've seen a lot about the latter in my feed. Oh, all the shares and opinions. Everyone wants a say about this and all I have seen the last couple of weeks when I log in on Facebook is map after map showing Europe in a heat wave. The poor meteorologists who only gets paid to say what they say are being hammered left and right. Propaganda. Mass hypnosis. Programming globalists. Agendas here and agendas there. Don't we all know by now that, yes, that's what they're up to? Why does it have to be screamed and shouted about all the time? Don't we know that the whole world is in high gear, and for the sleeping sheep to even be able to understand the mainstream news nowadays, they must use a lot of flashing lights, bright colors, caps lock in text, and hysterical music for the information to sink in our numb brains? Are you not aware of this? Bread and entertainment. Why do you have to scream and shout about the same thing that mainstream scream and shout about? Have we not come further than this? I could lie and say I've never watched TV, listened to the radio, or read the newspaper. It is certainly true if you look at my adult life, which was somewhat self-chosen, but as a child and youth it was obviously not like that. The news rolled in the background every evening, the radio was on at the breakfast table, and the newspaper was flipped through in the weekends when dad had finished reading. The solidarity color red shone brightly in my childhood home. Raised in a typical working class family. But what does it matter? 99% of everyone my age, grew up in the exact same way here in the Nordic European country where I am from. Despite that, this is apparently an argument that people like to wave around, in hope of washing away what they are being called by others. Just like being accused of being racist, but claiming to have a friend named Mohammed, when in reality, it's just the pizza dude down the corner who you buy junk food from every weekend. Anyway, my feed on Facebook is overflowing with mainstream news, but mirrored, twisted and angled because the people who claim to be fighting for truth and freedom themselves sit like slaves, following every little step mainstream takes, like a dog seeking attention. But as soon as they see or hear anything that does not align with what they themselves consider right or true, or when something clearly looks like propaganda, hidden agenda, the globalists' stark plans for the future, and so on and so forth. They mock and laugh at the poor sleeping herd of sheep who worries about heat waves and monkeypox. Or, they want to win them over to their side, like militant vegans who drown themselves in fake blood, standing with cardboard signs with pictures of dead animals on, in front of the meat counter at the grocery store. No, you don't convert anyone over to veganism this way, you just annoy people who want to buy their marinated beef tenderloin for Sunday roast alone in peace. Like always, the ones who say they are against mainstream, fighting for truth and freedom, still wants to sit in the same sandbox with mainstream and play. Even though you don't like the game being played nor being asked to join in, you still want to be there. Fuss, argue, scream and shout. Why don't you just play with the ones who want to play with you, create your own rules and get on with your lives? If it's truth and freedom that you strive for, and claim to fight for, 
then the first thing should reasonably be that right there is exactly where you are supposed to be, not somewhere else, to leave mainstream news and mass media channels behind, and focus on where you want to be heading, and how you and to live your life, instead of scream and shout about what they are up to. Freedom is not reached by sitting and looking at one's shackles and chains, prison guards, and fellow prisoners, no. Freedom is trying to create a better everyday life, and owning your own reality with the means you have, and improving and coming up with solutions as you go. Regarding the circus around the weather reports, we have to remember what kind of world we live in. Ten years ago, it was enough to write 25 degrees Celsius and most people understood what kind of heat you were talking about. But today, we live in a society where everything has to be reinforced to be taken in by our numb brains, just like I mentioned earlier. They have to put somewhat high temperatures in bright red colors to get the effect that they want. Maybe there isn't anything more in here to dig up than that? But what do I know, threats of climate change and the agenda with the greenhouse effect has of course in some cases surely have a hand in the game. But does this it affect my everyday life? No. Today, everything needs to be more extreme for it to have the same effect on people as just a few years ago. It is a mashup of a bunch of different components, but mainly the development of the technology and our screens that produces this outcome. Just watch any movie from the 1990s and compare it to a similar movie from the 2020s. Everything is maxed out, goes faster, harder, explodes more, sounds louder, and everything is more extreme than it once was. Despite that, we leave the movie theater with our gaze face down on our screens, with an indifferent zombie-like expression on our face. Nothing makes us raise eyebrows anymore. This is why, in my opinion, the weather reports are now red. So, instead of sitting and plowing through mainstream media, everyone should just pick up a book and get on with their lives. Stop sharing everything on social media, don't get caught up in statistics or hidden agendas, or what the next big thing is going to be. When your so-called awakened friends shake their bars and shackles like martyrs, yell at the guards, and mock their fellow prisoners, you can set a good example. Read books and talk to people, regardless of whether you share the same view on life or philosophies as they do. I believe is one of the most developing things there is for us as human beings. Read books, talk to people, spend time in nature, eat well and move your body. At the end of the day, this is how I program myself, completely independent and unaware of what's happening out there in the mainstream world.